For a long time, there wasn't any, there was a lot of studies done on diet and LDL. If you wanted to lower your LDL, which was the bad cholesterol, you could go on a no-fat diet. But nobody had really indicated how to raise HDL, because we don't eat HDL, you, you know, <laughs> that just comes from being generated in the body. And then this was one of the first studies that showed that uh, prolonged exercise actually increased the good cholesterol. So HDLs went up significantly. So it really became a pretty significant uh, result, and certainly the people who were in it were delighted. When you look at 20 years, even though the levels had stayed uh, at a desirable level, even the effect of those 20 years of being in the program didn't make them fall. So they were fighting an, an aging trend anyhow. That's in the literature. The literature shows that total cholesterol with age goes up, LD, uh, HDL tends to go down with inactivity, uh, changes in diet and things of that type. And we've shown just the opposite. Every year we met them and gave them their results and they saw their results. And I think seeing how things are improving, and not, not just blood, but strength and cardiovascular thing and flexibility and all of those other measurements, um, it becomes a, a personal thing. I don't want to let this go. And I know that if I stop, and we had a number of people who quit because of bad time or they uh, found that they were too busy or something like that time, and many of them rejoined after a year. They say, well, you know, I think I'll just do this on my own. But without the class discipline, uh, then what happens is they drop and they find out they do it for about a month then they find everything getting in its way mm -hmm. and uh, then quitting and then finally a year later they think heck I'm getting back in that class and they did, they rejoined. I think that besides the, the, the physical attributes that make life easier for you, you don't get tired walking, you don't do, women don't get tired doing housework, men don't get tired if they have to do a little gardening or a little uh, garage cleanup and that, and people do, they t t tend to get tired. There is a, there's also the obvious fear of any man who gets to the age of 40 begins worrying about having a sudden heart attack when he's doing something and tends not to do physical things anymore. These people just lost that altogether. They were not afraid to do anything because they were doing it harder work than that every day. And I think, I think maybe that in the long run is the biggest single thing that comes out of it. Is being able to do the things when you're older that you used to be able to do when you're young. You have, I mean, so many people say, oh, I could do that when I was young. Well, you should be still able to do it if it's physical because those variables, strength, Flexibility, cardiovascular, does not have to go away. It's strictly a function of sedentary living.